Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke is altered. Hold on. So, hair's better. Um, completed my last three hour week. So, I've now done two weeks at work. The first week was four shifts because there was a new year of uh, three hour days. I just completed one full week of five three hour days. Um, and let's just discuss what my first two weeks have looked like back at work. So, the first week was very difficult, was very, yeah, we'll just leave it at difficult. First week was very difficult. Um, just getting back into the routine of going to work, very, very overwhelming at times. I was hyper conscious about how I looked. It's not the way I looked like before my stroke. I didn't need sunglasses to work. I, I, I know I'm cognizant of the physical presentation and how, how it looks at times. I know I don't move through the room the same way, you know. So there's there's many things going on there that I can't control, but whatever. Let's talk about this week. So this week, um, I've spent roughly nine, eight of my nine shifts with one individual, um, shadowing them, watching them do their job, so I can get back into swing of things to do my job. Um, if you happen to be watching this, you you are an asset. Um, beyond what work knows you are. I mean, you are a testament to having the ability to see beyond my stumbles. Um, it, it basically ignore them, which is brilliant. Um, and work with me, right? And you work. You also worked for me. You you were an advocate on my behalf from the conversations we had, and I I, I owe you a debt. I, a great debt. Um, so, what of my stumbles in the last? Well, overall in two weeks, but mainly this week, um, I've got a couple things, and a lot of it is to do with memory. Uh, quite honestly, memory. So the first off, um, I can re remember information about my job, but I don't have the context about it. So I know the answer to a question but I don't know how I know that answer to the question. So then I have to, after answering the question and usually answering it correctly, I then have to ask, well, was that correct? Is, is that the right answer? Generally, the answer has been yes, it is a correct answer, but I'm like, well, how the, how the fuck did I know that? Like, I don't have the context for that. I know I know it, but I don't know how. The other problem is the flip side of that I know I've trained people to do that thing. I know I've done that thing in the past. I know I've trained people to do that thing in the past. I don't know how to do that thing. Like, there's the question. I don't know. I legitimately just, just don't know what times. Um, so, and then my memory's faulty at times, mainly for names again. Um... There, there are times where that is very disheartening, right? Because you don't remember names. But I'm, by far and large, people at work have been brilliant about that. Um, the memory, you know, insofar as how I know things or how I don't know things or... I'm going to assume, and I don't like to make assumptions because I've always been a believer, as soon as you start assuming, you stop thinking. Um, I'm going to make... An assumption that maybe six to ten weeks that memory and ability gap right uh, shortens right so that could be the thing um, I'm continuing to journal because I want to be able to draw inferences and draw correlations see if there is a pattern I can notice I'm still overwhelmed by noise still drastically overwhelmed by uh, ambient noise I'm still trying to learn how to filter it out. Unfortunately, unless I can get work to make everyone work in their own little cone of silence, it, it's not a practicality. I'm just going to have to learn to find a way to deal with it. Um, now in, now my manager and I... Her and I have, a, again, I'm not going to issue any names in this regard, but if you have been watching this, you know, you've, you've been amazing. 
we just again you you've been an advocate um you've listened uh to when i've had some stumbles or concerns i have um and you know you're you're forming a partnership on this regard and i i greatly appreciate that to the person that i happen to have stroked out on i know you watch my content occasionally um thank you for being a good sounding board uh, you know what my concerns were, and thank you. Thank you for listening. Right? Um, I had a meeting this week uh, with my manager's manager, my manager and an HR rep in the room. Uh, wasn't expecting the meeting. It was just like, oh, they want to discuss my concerns uh, or their concerns or what have you. Uh, in regards to... Me, you, or you, me. I'll look up the actual name later. I'm sorry, I should have actually just do that now. Um, my employer gets it. And I'm, I'm lucky that they get it. <laughs> kind of not lucky because I had my stroke at work. So everyone, it's not like I'm like, well, I had a stroke. I had to have the weekend off. Um, they all got to see the worst day of my life. So there's no, there's no questioning what happened. Because... Everyone got to watch, watch, watch it happen. I am still highly anxious when I walk into work. Because it's a building I almost died in. Right? Um, I, I can feel the uneasiness about 45 minutes, half an hour before I have to leave for work. As soon as we turn onto the road where my work is, I, I can... It's, it's palpable um, how difficult these things are, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to overcome it. Uh, will I ever be able to completely overcome it? I honestly don't know. I, I have a goal that I'm going to get there. Sadly, I don't know the length of the time it's going to take. So I have this meeting, and I'm kind of panicky because, you know, we're having a meeting, and it's about me. <laughs> so I'm like... And you know what? They get it. They totally get it. Because the question was, well, I have a doctor's note that says you are fit to return to work without limitations or restrictions. Okay. Well, then why are you having the, the, the difficulties you are? Like, like where? And, I, and I, I was just honest. Like, listen, the neurologist basically told me there's nothing neurologically that can medically be currently treated. There's no surgery they can perform. There's no additional procedures they can do. Right? So neurologically, my brain is where it should be. Right? Um, and that within two years, again, this is the neurologist speaking, not me. Within two years, you should never be able to tell I have a stroke. And they asked me, hey, did you bring this? And I said, yeah, I, I brought a, a laundry list of questions to my neurologist like and like i asked him about the, like my balance issue my proprioception issue <clears throat> that should get better right um the apraxia the nomia and the um aphasia should get better um so everything everything that i have is normal post-stroke so because there's nothing medically a neurologist can do i'm as far as he is concerned i'm fit to return to work um, the biggest concern was the communication gap the difficulties because I kind of work in an environment where one, I'm either talking to customers on the phone about their technical support problems and what we can do to address that, or two, I'm training people on how to do their jobs right? Not because I'm an agent and a trainer. My employer gets it. Now, I don't know if I have the benefit, and this is going to sound morbid, I don't know if I have the benefit of stroking out at work and they got to see the stroke uh, and they know the pre me from stroke and the post me from stroke and there, there's a there's a difference there right um i'm considering a therapy animal uh, dog so works investigating uh what their policies are exactly are so i can be in alignment with their policies, and I'm currently looking at a couple animals um, to see what that'll look like. Costs, haven't figured that part out yet, but we're going to work on that. Um, 
and, and then when I see my counselor, I, we're gonna, her and I are going to address that to see if it's something that would be reasonable, so needed. I mean, returning to work after a stroke, I'm going to be honest. Um, I read on my Facebook support groups all the the experiences that they were having. And a good friend of mine, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Hope you're back in uh, PA. Um, your surgery went well, and I know you're going to be traveling soon, so I hope you travel safely and get home safely. Um, you might need to dress extra warm because you hate the cold, yet you're traveling to Pennsylvania in the winter. Oh, well. Um, she's having a bit of a rough go. Other people I've read about have had, had rough goes, right? Um, you know what? I, I can appreciate that some employers may not just get it. However, I, I'm, I'm proud and happy to say my employer right now, they get it, right? They understand that there is a gap and I'm going to need a little bit of help, right? Uh, I've got a, and then I, I had a sit down impromptu um, with my manager's manager today. And I just wanted to, A, express some gratitude, right? Um, so, and I did the same thing with the HR rep that was in the room. I just went and said, hey, I like to express some gratitude. Um, you know, I'm grateful you guys get it. I, I'm, I'm, that relieves a level of anxiety that I've had. Does it relieve all my anxiety? No, not at all. But it, it relieves a good chunk of my anxiety. It, it honestly does. Um, and my manager's manager and I, we sat down and we had, I don't know, a 10 minute conversation. And during those 10 minutes, things were said by my manager's manager that shows insight. Um, it shows um, brilliance in some cases. Uh, it shows that, you know, um, he gets it. He understands sort of the, some of the positioning I'm in, um, you know. And I'm not going to say this return to work thing is going to be completely easy. And I'm not going to say this return to work thing is always going to be, you know, smiles, puppy dogs, and rainbows. And I'm not going to say that I'm not going to have a couple of shit days coming up that I don't know about, right? Because uh, the great certainty about stroke, stroke is relatively uncertain right there's a lot of things that could just happen or might not happen or will just happen out of nowhere um i'm still journaling trying to draw um correlations between events uh i find right now i have a better day the next day if i go to the gym the night before so if i go to the gym the night before i find i typically have a better day the next day um Medication seems to be helping cut the anxiety and help out. Still get headaches from time to time. Uh, still feel overwhelmed from time to time. It's uh, a matter of just trying to find the happy medium. Like the ambient noise. Because my brain really just can't filter it out. Is it a case in three weeks my brain will just click and I get it? Like, and I just can filter out the ambient noise. Is it a case I'm going to have to wait uh, for the head, the, the noise cancelling headset and wait for that to do the trick? Is it a case I'm just going to have to suffer through it for a while and until I've just sort of like inoculated or vaccinated myself and, and just sort of stumble through it and wait for it to get better? Um, I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know. It's just the reality. I, I don't know. Um, because it's going to happen if it's going to happen, but it's going to happen when it's going to happen, and I can't really predict it. Um, I've tried as best I can to prepare for going back to work with ambient noise, but you can only simulate that so well. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm definitely hopeful it'll get better, but I have to, again, you have to go into this whole post-stroke recovery thing. You've got to accept certain realities, and one reality I have to accept is Ambient noise may forever be a thing, right? And there's there's legitimately nothing I can do about that. 
Um, still working down my decision tree. Uh, right now, I don't see any reason why I can't go to the four-hour window. So I'm going to do that next week and the week thereafter. So for the next two weeks, I'm on four hours. And then I go to five. And then I go to six. And then I go to seven. And then by the end of February, I'm, I'm back to eight hours a day. Right? Um, my, my goal is to get to that eight, to get to that eight hours. Right? And then last piece, uh, my fellow employees, right? by far and large, um, they've been very accepting, right? Um, there's probably still a couple that keep their distance because they don't know what to do, or maybe they don't know it's me. Um, but I've had people ask me some questions and, Hey, what was it like? And I'm not going to give you all the nitty gritty details because really that's not your main. And, but you know, I'm going to tell you, I'll be honest. What was the last six months like? Fucking terrifying. Uh, what was the last six months like? Fucking boring. Um, you know, it, it was, it was anywhere between moments of happy, uh, moments of sad, moments of terrifying, moments of bored. But I honestly think, um, this was the right time for me to go back to work. Uh, this was the last time I thought about going back to work. So two months after my stroke and that just would have been a nightmare, just absolute nightmare. Um, I wouldn't, I would have fallen on my face if I got in that. If I had, if I had been successful in that competition, I just would have fallen on my face. I'm just glad I did it. Um, but I'm hopeful that this will be successful. Right? I'm confident that my manager has my back. I'm confident that the people I've been working with thus far on my side of the building have my back. I'm confident there's a couple other people in the building have my back. And I'm confident that my my employer gets it. Right? I'm confident that my my under, my employer understands that there is a gap between what the doctor says and what reality dictates. I'm confident that my employer has nothing but my success um as their objective, right? So my goals and their goals, they, they align, right? Uh, and and I, I get it. However, the only thing, you know, um, I, I, that I don't know is the only thing that I don't know Is how long is it is it going to take for me to be back as close as a replicant as I can to the old me, if that's even a possibility? Because I would love to lose the sunglasses indoors. Um, I would love not to be bothered by ambient noise. Um, you know, I would love to have better balance at times. Working on it, working on it. You know. So, anyways, I will let you find people carry on with your weekends. So, again, if you've been liking what you've been watching over the last six weeks, actually, no, sorry, six weeks, wow, uh, six months and a bit, please like, share, subscribe, uh, share this with your friends. If you happen to know anyone going through their post-stroke journey, please, again, like, share, subscribe, let them watch the channel. They may get some uh, some benefit out of it. Right? I'll do um, a video once a week about my return to work schedule uh, over between now and when I go back to full-time, and just... But I'll continue on other content. I'm going to be uploading some content over the next couple of days um, that might be a little bit provocative um, and a little bit thought-provoking. I'll just let that hang there. And then if you happen to be in a room and you either see in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, uh, that being someone, and these this just happens immediately. Like, it just comes out of nowhere. Someone who appears to be befuddled or confused, someone who's uh, having vision problems or something wrong with their eyes, they, they see in grayscale, they see half the world, they can't move their eyes. Uh, someone that has um, facial droop, so part of their face is drooping. Uh, they can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. They're unable to smile equally effectively or at all. They're having problems speaking, so they're slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. 
they they can't stand un, unaided. They're having you know, general body weakness or weakness on one side. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.